and welcome back to another DCG battle. Hello. Have you missed? Have you missed my amazing intro? Indeed. Yes. We've been me, away for a while. With my earplugs in and all that. Oh, earplugs in. That's a pop. Hello, one. viewers. I do that on all my videos. My videos are famous for their hellos. Are they? Gears of, I've been using Gears of Fire for my um, Steam Siege deck. My uni club bits always say that actually, because I do a top 10 series, I, 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 I did a top 10 series, uh, yeah. that I should do a top 10 best hellos from my intros. But there's a lot of them to go back through and listen to, so I don't there know which ones indeed. I would choose. There are indeed. There are. Well, from TCG Ooh, alone, sweet. this is the 212th hello. So that's a lot of hellos. Uh, yes, it is. Well, I've got the uh, conversation. Hidden Moon deck uh, from Guardians Rising Sun and Moon, which is the Lunala one. Funny enough, that's why it's got Moon in the title. Very good. It would be a bit silly if it was the Solgalia one. It's called Hidden Moon, wouldn't it? Because he's the Sun Bloke. He's the Sun Bloke? Sun Lion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can count. Well done, sir. I'm very proud of myself. You're not basic, you're not basic, you're not basic. What is this hand? Okay. Guess I'm leading with you then. Not like I have much choice. Right, I'm gonna go with that one, put that one on my My player. god. Okay, so prepare yourselves. My opening hand was this. These. These. And this thing. That's wild. Wild? That is wild. I have never had such a crazy opening hand, I don't think, in like TCG. Oh. Okay then. <clears throat> Heads or tails? Tails. You are wrong, it's heads. <laughs> I would like to draw a card, so you can go first this time. Oh, thank you. That's alright. I'm going to... I've got Meowth. Mm -hmm. And then... And, 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 I can't do him over. Litleo. Litleo. I've got Cosmog. Cosmog again. Yep. Jolly Cosmog. Jolly Cosmog. And I am going to... Put a metal energy onto my Litleo and end my turn. Oh, that's what I wanted. I was hoping for energy. Stuffle is here though, and I'm going to play a nest ball to search my deck for a basic Pokemon. Oh, Stuffle! And put it onto your bench. And I'm going to pick if I can find one. Dun dun dun! He's being here. Don't be a prize. Oh, look, there's two right next to each other. Another Cosmog! Mm. We went to the cinema this week, guys. We, oh, saw, we, did. we saw it. We didn't at the cinema. It. Oh, it was so good. Wasn't it? It was really good. It was good. It was good. So, it was a 15. It was. Because it's a bit of a horror film. But it was what do you mean a bit of a horror film? <laughs> but it was good. Very enjoyable. I'm going to end my turn now. Very good. Because <clears> sad <throat> times, I don't have an energy card. Oh, it's all but yeah, it was really good. <clears throat> um, you should definitely go, go see it if you get a chance. If you're old it. enough. Oh, if you're old enough. I don't know how young my viewers are. I put Volcanion down. I, I know. I liked the bit in the in the garage. That was that was good. With the projector. Oh, yeah. That was a, that was a good bit. Am I going to evolve? Little Leo into Pyro. Ooh, hello, big boy. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have any money, so I have to end my big turn. boy alert. <gasps> oh, the gods have graced me with an energy card. Arceus himself has come down. Cosmo M, Cosmo M. Oh, for heaven's sake, <laughs> no. I don't 
told you, this is a wild opening hand. Oh, I was about to say, I don't know how many energies thing you need, but yes, I do. Cosmo can have a psychic energy. There we go. Oh, in my turn, because I don't want to teleport. That's his only attack. Teleport! Yeah. I shall put a mental energy onto my Meowth and end my turn. You wanted that fire energy? I knew it. Oh. This is going to be one of these really frustrating games if I don't get any blinking energy. I'm in the same position where I haven't got a lot of energy and I have two due to need specific energies. And I just drew a fire energy, which is not the specific energy I need. Lunala, Lunala. Oh, for heaven's sake. I know. I was, that was my expression when I drew my hand, because it was like, what? I had two Lunalas, two Cosmo M's, uh, one Cosmog, and the Nest Ball, and this thing, which is nothing to do with that. It was wild. But I can attack. I can do Shattershot 440. This attack does 40 damage times the number of Psychic NG attached to this Pokemon. That is one. So I will do that. Very good. Yeah. Um, would have been nice if I'd have had more energy in my starting hand and just had the one Lunala. But having both Lunalas in my hand was kind of wild. Indeed. I, the, it's more than just like the chances of that actually happening. To have two Cosmo Wims, two Lunalas, and the Cosmog, and the Nest Ball. Right, I have a fire energy now. I can see that. That's not good. For me, at least. That's right, good. so... I am going to do Flame Charge for 60. Ooh, plus, good. search your deck for a fire energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Do it. I hope I get a Psychic Energy next time. This time. Or beware. I didn't... I didn't get either of those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, Stuffle, but I'm going to have to sacrifice you. I'm going to switch you up. With Lunala. Lunala's... I'm going to save Lunala. Save Lunala! And I will tackle you for 10. 10! I'm sorry, Stuffle. Oops. <laughs> you didn't see that. No, I didn't. I flipped You're my right. other card over. It's not like it's a big, important card that is worth hiding, but, you know. Yeah. Um, well, I will do Incinerate for 90. Yeah, I thought you would. What is it? It says, before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I didn't have any of those, yeah. but I'm dead anyway. So. I oh, get okay, prize card! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Time to say goodbye to your Pyro. Because now I can do Shatter Shot, uh, which is this take this 40 damage times in to Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. I have two, so that's 80. Oh, yeah, it's enough to get him. Yay! Oh. My Stuffle sacrifice was worth it. My heart goes out to Stuffle. He, he had a noble sacrifice. So he can do 80. He can do 80. That's the max he can do at the moment. Better put up my Volcanion then, didn't I? Hmm. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I just read his other attack and having that on my bench is a bit broken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Jimjar okay. now. What? Come at me. Hmm? Come at me and my Lunala. I'm going to put a fire energy on the Volcanion. I have two of them. Volcanion. And I'm going to do Power Heater for 20 damage onto you. Mm. And it says choose two of your bench Pokemon attached to Fire Energy card from your discard pile to each of those Pokemon. Do it. 
Oh, well, we've only got the two, so. You have. Uh, so it's 20. Tons. Fire energy on the gym jar. And fire energy on the meal. Meals! Boo, boo, boo. I got a litwick of my own. Didn't you have him last time? Yeah, but he was psychic when I had him, I thought. Well, he's psychic for. He's ghost fire in the games. Uh, so. Ghost isn't in the TCG, it's replaced by psychic. Uh, he can have a fire energy, he needs it. Flickering flames can put you to sleep because that's how flames work. <laughs> You'd think it'd burn, wouldn't you? Yeah, that would make more sense. But no. Pardon me. I will do shatter shot for eighty. Booyakasha. Yeah, there's lots of good films coming out soon, isn't there? Yeah. Cause we got Blade Runner that comes out next week. But Kingsman's already out. So that, as far as I know, that hasn't got the best reviews, but from no. the trailers, it looks really good. It so does. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will as well. Um, there's a ton of trailers out. Uh, it's not too long till Star Wars is out. Uh, Thor is soon. Um, Fire Energy. Justice mm -hmm. League is soon. We're definitely going to go see all three of those three. Star Wars, Justice League, and Thor, because they are awesome. And we are big fans of the Actually, DC, the Marvels, and the Star I'm Wars. I'm going to put my Fire Energy onto my Chim Jar. He's going to put his Fire Energy onto his Chim Jar. Because I've just realised that you can kill my Volcanic in the next game. It's true. He's not very floopy, is it? I'm confused why you didn't leave with your Meowth when we started because he doesn't have a thing that can use for first turns. You can only use this tag if you go second and only on your first turn. Discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. But you led with Litleo. Yeah, because I could evolve him. I'm going to evolve Chimchar into Monferno. You can evolve on your bench though. Eh? Hey? I said he evolved on the bench though. Who? What? You can still evolve him if he was on the bench, is my point. And it's up to you, of course, and obviously you chose to do it the other way around, but. Good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm... think I've ever used the pyro on that deck. Yeah. I'm going to use Power Heater again, for, so 20 onto you. Mm -hmm. And I get to. Oh no, I haven't got any fire engines left in my discard pile, I don't Oh think. no, that's not good. So I can't do anything with that? Really? I've got another one there. Let's put it on to a little bit. Considering he's a stage one, Monferno, he's a bit rubbish. He is. And there's no Inferno pin there either. So is it. It doesn't evolve anymore, is what you're telling me. He's sad. Sad times. I don't know if the Inferno is good from that set. I've never looked. I still can't use that card. I'll just do my 80 damage with Shatter Shot and kill your Volcanion. Mm. That is literally the best card I could have drawn, actually. I. Well, I suppose I could have got a psychic energy, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? I'm going to put up my Monferno then. Hello, Monferno. Come on, I need a Actually, I'm going to. Oh no! I'm going to take the, the damage covers off him and put 100 on, because that's how much was on there. And. Another Chim Jar. make it a lot easier for me to see. <laughs> Hello, Chim Chim. Chim 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 have a look. Oh, hang on, the last bit says put the the first Pokemon into your deck. Shuffle oh, so the first yes. Pokemon back into your deck. Noise. So, oh. no discarding him. No. That would be silly. You can discard him if you want, I suppose. He's pretty garbage. I'm just having a hunty poo. Hunty poo. Um. Yeah, but as well as the uh, those films, what else is coming out soon? Plink! That, um, I want to see Happy Death Day. That looks 
He's good. He looks cheesy, but cheesy, is cheesy. Just, cheesy isn't bad. Does it look cheesy? Okay. It looks a little cheesy. It looks very like generic. You know what I mean? When it goes to, it comes to that kind of film. Maybe. Maybe not. I know what I mean. It's okay. Well, have you seen the trailer? Did you say? Yeah. I have seen the trailer for yeah. I got a clink on my bench. And the new Flatlines comes out soon. You said that was a Flatlines, yes. Yeah. That looks good. I'm going to do Flare 430 on you. That looks like it's supposed to be spooky too, doesn't it? Yes, it is meant to be. It's the first one a horror one. I've never obviously seen it. Yes. Yeah. So. Sort of supernatural horror. Supernatural. I don't have it anymore, I used to have it on a VHS video. Oh, VHS video. But I don't know if our audience knows what that is. But I don't have it on a DVD. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do my ultimate play. No I'm not, I can't, I don't have the right cards. No, I'm gonna have to just hope for the best. Apparently I've dripped coke onto the table. There's coke with it, so it's just wipe well, it assume, up. Well, wipe it up with your it? white top. Yeah. Why not? Sounds like a good plan to me, doesn't it? I, I can't do my ultimate strategy, I don't have enough energy. So I'm just going to have to shatter shot you for 80. Oh. And hope for the best that I get something that I need. Come on, don't do this you to have me. have up. No, I've got my fingers crossed. Guys, I do. <clears throat> I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to evolve him into Clang. Oh, Clang is good. I like Clang. I'm going to put a fire energy onto him. Excuse me, I just burped. That's alright. And the only thing I can do is scratch you for 20. Oh no, I don't want this. Please give me the card I need. Well, that puts you at 150, I've just realised. I know. That's quite good. No, it's not. <laughs> and that's not the card I want. I've got to mimic you. Professor Kukui. Oh, for heaven's sake, man. I'm trying to get a specific card, otherwise it's all over. Draw two cards during this turn, your Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage. What do you yeah. mean, otherwise it's all over? It's all over. <laughs> You're being a bit dramatic. No, I didn't get it. I'm so sad. Weepage. Got a lot of energy there. I just gotta hope you don't have a metal energy next to her. Shatter shot four eighty. Bye bye, meow. That become playing. Mm, give me the card I need. No, that's not good. Good for me. Well, I will vice grip you for 30. Which does decease you. I get a prize card! Mm. If this is a psychic engine, I'm going to cry. Is it? Yeah. Psychic energy. Wee bitch. Wee bitch. That's all I needed, and I would have been able to stop that from happening. But no. My deck doesn't like me. Draw three cards. Ah. Dun dun dun! I've already played an energy, haven't you? That's okay. I'm going to Flickering Flames you for 20. 20? Because it's doubled on you. Oh. Yay. And you're asleep now. Right. Because it doesn't burn you. Remember, we yeah. had this conversation. Uh, Do sleep I have is that way. That way? 
You turn the energies as well. I normally don't do that. Oh. That's okay. Um, shall we flip to see if he wakes up? Before I draw? What's well, the start of your turn you're supposed to do, isn't it? No. I am not complaining. Right. Ligwick well, is going to bring this back for us, guys. In that case, I have to end my turn. Good. No, he's still asleep. That was a dodgy coin you got there. But it was heads earlier, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know if you know if we flipped it. When we started. Oh, maybe. Ooh. All right, we can start by doing rescue stretcher. Choose one. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shovel three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. One, two, three. Let's do that. That sounds like a good meme. Just make sure you shuffle with. Look, look <laughs> you can watch me shuffle if you really want. There you go. Hello, there's Luna Oliver. You just spewed out. Thanks for that. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want to draw Luna Oliver. I would like to draw a psychic energy. With my second howl. That's what I have. Draw three cards. One, there's a Goth Eater. Two, three. I got no psychic energies. <sighs> Why? You know, I did get the, the Salazzle and a Fire Energy for it. Oh, when you when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. Let's do that. Right. That's good ability. Thank you. Bro. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> didn't read his ability. Now, do you remember how burn works? No. Nope. That's good. That's good. Look at that. I don't remember either. Where is my handy dandy rule book? We've got a handy dandy big ass bag of Pokemon cards. Handy dandy rule book. No. Oh no, I see it. <laughs> Very good. Page 15. It's the only page we ever use in this thing because I know how to play the TCG. If a Pokemon is burned, place a burn marker on it to show that it is burned. As long as it is burned, flip a coin after each player's turn. If Tails plays two damage counters on it, ignoring weakness and resistance. If an attack would burn a Pokemon that is already burned, it does not get doubly burned. Instead, a new burn condition replaces the old one. Make sure whatever you use for a burn marker looks different from a damage counter. Now, I can't remember if they changed how it burn works in the Sun and Moon set. So we're going to go with those rules, even though they're outdated and old. Mm -hmm. uh, because we don't have a thing here that tells us what the actual Sun and Moon rules are. And so they are rules yeah. that were in the TCG at some point. Um, I feel like that's valid. Um, we, we're allowed to do that. I will flickering flames you for 20. You then take... 10 from the poison and 20 from the burn. We don't really say because it's tails. Yeah, that's what we just read, isn't it? Do we just double check? Flip a coin if tails place two damage counters on it, ignoring weakness and resistance. Does that kill you? I don't know how many is on no. you. How many is on 80. you? How many is on 70 you? on me. So you had 20 on you. I did another 20. Yeah. So you got 70. Yeah. Ooh, and we flip to see if you stay awake. Or sleep, brother. Oh, you wake up. Look at this RNG. <laughs> I'll play a mistake. This is some intense stuff. Cling clang. Oh no, it's a cling clang. Big boy incoming. 
Right, so for a start off he's got an ability which is heavy bumper saying any damage done to this Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10 for each in your opponent's active Pokemon with retreat. Oh, so one for me basically because he's got one retreat thing. That's okay. But unfortunately I don't have a mental energy to do an attack. Well at least you're still alive. Yeah. Because otherwise you so would literally what, what, have just lost. So so you take 10 from the poison automatically if you're ending your turn and we flip a coin and if it's tails you take another 20 from the burn. So how many have I got here? That should be 100 four, leaving you with 40. Right. Let's just put 100 on there. I'm now going to draw my card. It's useless. Thanks for that. But you know what we do have? We can play the last card that we had in our starting hand now. It's Gothita. <laughs> Gothita. It's here. I'm then going to put a fire energy on my Salazzle. Salazzle bloke. You don't know how many regrets I have putting that fire energy on that Mimikyu. I am like dying in the mind. <laughs> I'm going to Flickering Flames you for 10 because it is doubled to 20 and then reduced by your ability by 10 yeah. for my retreat cost. You are asleep again because it's an automatic asleep. You then take 10 from the poison and then we'll flip for burn first and then sleep, okay? So burn, that's 20. Is that Does that kill that's you? That's killed him. Oh, that means I win. So many status conditions. Boo. Ooh. The salazzle came through. Oh, look. There's my lampant. My lampant. I found him. I didn't even need to put that extra energy on him. I'm so silly. And I got an energy retrieval too. And there's my Cosmo Nest Ball switch in time of all. Um, I, I had a clang and a cling clang. And a rapid and a rapid. But well, no basics. Well, that was a interesting battle with a nice, interesting end. I don't think we've ever had an ending like that Andy. in a 2CG battle. Oh, there's all oh, bloody energies. I'm sure oh, it would have been handy. Oh, and Jello. All of well, those would have been handy. All your good supporting cards and chilling in your, in your prizes. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed that match, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tune in next week for some more TCG. I don't know what we're going to do, what well, water decks or whatever, but we'll have some TCG here because we always have some TCG here. We do. So like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.